Hi everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export AVIF image files from Figma using the Tiny Image plugin. Um, so the first thing we need to do if you haven't already done so is just go up to the top left corner of your Figma application and click on the little Figma icon. And if you go down to community and just type in the search word Tiny Image, uh, that's T-I-N-Y-I-M-A-G-E, and you'll see a result called Tiny Image Compressor pop right up. Uh, if you haven't already clicked it, there'll be an install button over here on the right hand side. Just click on that and it'll change to look like mine with a little checkbox. And once you see that, you're ready to go. So now we can jump back into our Figma file. Uh, today I'm just using a few images that I took from Unsplash, um, but you can use any layers in your Figma file uh, for this example. So if you right click anywhere, go down to plugins and then just click on tiny image compressor and that will fire up the plugin that we just installed a moment ago. So the first thing to note is this plugin will basically look for any images or layers in your Figma file with export settings. And what I mean by that just quickly is if you click on a layer and go over to the right hand side of the Figma um, layout, you'll see a little column called export. And you can see on mine, I've got a couple of export settings already set on this image. Um, if you don't have an export setting set on your layer, um, Tiny Image won't pick it up. So just be sure to add any export settings to your layers. And that's what Tiny Image is going to use to determine uh, what formats and what sizes you want to export um, per image. So if I just deselect that image, you can see all of these other layers in my file have export settings on them. Um, so I've already gone through and add, added those, um, but you can do that yourself um, depending on what images you want to export. Okay, so now that I've got that set up, um, I'm just going to deselect all of my images um, because I don't want to export SVGs today. Um, I just want to export uh, my photos or my JPEGs to AVIF. Um, so to do that, we just have to click on this little settings icon. Um, you'll see it in the little toolbar here. If you click on that, there's an option at the top called image conversion. Um, at the moment, we don't have any image conversion selected, but if you click on that drop down, um, you'll see a few options. So we've got convert JPEGs and PNGs to WebP, convert JPEGs to AVIF, and convert JPEGs to Progressive JPEG. Um, today, of course, we're just going to be looking at this middle option, which is convert JPEGs to AVIF. So I'm going to click on that. And now that has selected the image conversion option to do that. So if I just close off the settings panel now, um, you can see here if I enable a couple of images that I want to compress, um, you can see that the JPEG setting has now changed um, and it has brackets next to it saying AVIF. So that's just going to indicate to me that uh, I've selected the AVIF conversion option. And so any JPEG layers or any layers that you've got export settings with the JPEG format set to um, are now going to be converted to the AVIF format. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what that looks like by converting the, uh, the three images I've got set up here. Of course, you can change the quality. So you can change the quality slider to be whatever you want. Um, and you can also, of course, add in overrides here. So if you wanted this to have much more compression, so if we wanted this one to be at 30 uh, quality um, and leave the other ones at 75, then we can just put that in there and that will override that particular image. So now that I've got everything set up, I'm just gonna click on the compress selected button in the top, uh, top toolbar of tiny image. And this is going to go through my three images that I've selected and uh, convert them or compress them into the AVIF format. And AVIF is a very new format. Um, it's actually only supported by Chrome and Firefox, I believe at the moment. Um, but this is a format that is really, really good as far as image compression goes and really good at maintaining quality for lower file sizes. Um, so I believe it's about 50% smaller than a JPEG and roughly 20% smaller than even a WebP file. Okay, so it's finished converting all of our images for us uh, and compressing them. I'm just gonna save it to my desktop as a zip file. And just briefly, I'll go over the savings that we've got here. So you can see that um, the two images that we set at 75 uh, quality, we've saved 39% on those. And the one that we put down all the way down to 30, uh, we've actually saved 96% quality uh, uh, file size savings on that one. So that's a total of 54% across the board. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go to my desktop, I'm gonna unzip the file that we just exported. 
and you can see here we've got our AVIF files. Now, uh, Mac doesn't have an inbuilt AVIF viewer, so if you do want to see what this looks like, um, the quickest way is probably just to drag it into your web browser, or if you're building a website or using this in production, you could just drop this into your code base and hook them up to an image tag. Um, but in my case, I'm just going to preview it in Chrome, so I'll do that now. Okay, so I've just dragged uh, that image into Chrome. So that's the first image that we exported. That's the Kyoto.avif. Um, I've also got the matcha image, um, which has also been exported. And then we've got Mount Fuji uh, as well. So that was the one that we exported at quality 30. So you can see there, it's just reduced that file size like crazy. That's a 69 kilobyte file. Um, and as you can see here, the image quality is actually still relatively good. Um, you can't really tell any pixelation or blurriness um, just at a glance anyway. So that is a really good looking image for something that is 69 kilobytes. Um, the same with these ones. These look really good um, considering that they've been compressed down to you know 1.4 megabytes. Um, okay, so that's what they all look like. And if we go back to Figma, um, we can just close that off now. And that's all there is to it. You just have to run it through, make sure you've got that conversion setting selected in the tiny image plugin to convert all your JPEGs to AVIF files and uh, you'll be ready to go. So you can use those on your website. Uh, you can use them uh, for your web applications, uh, anything like that. And yeah, I hope this has been a helpful tutorial. If you've been wondering how to export your images from Figma to AVIF or uh, if you've just discovered the AVIF format in this tutorial, then uh, I hope you can go ahead and try it out in your own projects and uh, on your own production sites. Uh, so hopefully it all works out for you and uh, thank you again as always for watching. We'll be back very soon with more tutorials just like this one.